They were to be married in the Bunghook Valley near Stellenbosch. David starred as Dwayne in Seven Delan and in the critically acclaimed SABC1 drama Society plus many stage productions. But the most important line he ever delivered was at home. Could you tell me about the day that you got on one knee and decided to make her yours forever? I had the ring burning in my pocket for quite a long time and I've been waiting for the right moment. She was getting ready actually for us about to go out on the town and I looked at her and I just, I couldn't resist <laughs> anymore. And went on my knee and I said, I can't wait anymore. I'd love you for you to be my wife. Although a drama graduate and actor, David is shy and reserved. That's how his brother and best man Mark has known him all his life. What makes the bride and groom so special? Bianca is very expressive, um, whether it's happy or sad or just, you know, she's on a, on a calm mood. You can, you can see exactly what's going on in her face and in the gestures. And David brings the balance in that, uh, in terms of just uh, either bringing her down or bringing her down to, to, to sort of a calm space, or her taking David up to like a hype, excited space. But they work very well together in that way. The last time we saw Bianca was as the firecracker Anita in West Side Story. Bianca, throughout the day, everyone's been talking about this incredible feisty woman, but here stands this elegant bride-to-be. Thank you so very much. I'm trying for David's sake. <laughs> um, yes, my beautiful dress designed specifically for me by Hendrik Vermeulen, couture, and I feel like a princess. I don't think I'll... I did play a role once called Cinderella where I got to play a princess. It's pretty much like that type of feeling. I met David and he's very calm and collected. Is it a case of opposites attract? Yeah, we definitely opposites. My mom calls us chalk and cheese. Um, but our similarities are our careers and what we love to do, which is telling stories with our, with our, you know, the talents that God has given us, which is singing and acting and dancing and the best man I could ever, ever choose. Oh, actually, he chose me, but definitely the best man, definitely. The LaGrange family have diverse talents, as Bianca's sister, Shauna, showed us. These dresses look amazing. They're so elegant. Thank you. Uh, they're all made by Bianca's mom. You can see they're wearing tutus, uh, all matching in the light uh, pink. Yes, and we just wanted to go with something vintage and classy, something sexy like Bianca. The couple loved to entertain, and the bride's choice of carriage reflected their regard for classic elegance. There were stars of stage and television on both sides of the aisle, but at heart, this was a family wedding. Bianca's brother, Rudy Lagrange, gave the bride away. With such magnetic characters as its leading man and lady, the ceremony was like watching an intensely personal scene from a movie. I, Bianca Joy, take you, David Arnold, to be my husband. I do. <laughs> Both David and Bianca have big hearts. After matric, she toured the country doing charity work, while in his spare time, David teaches dance to college students. To bring that authentic cape flavor to the occasion, a cape minstrels band was arranged by Bianca's friend, Lutman Adams, who is currently starring with her in the stage musical District 6. Many of the celebrity guests were unknowns when they first became friends. How do the two of you know this lovely couple? I know Bianca from way back when, when Mark and B and uh, the other close friends did the pantomime in 2000. And Long ago. Long, long, long time ago. And David I also know from Cape Town days, before I even moved to Joburg. And I, I lived with Bianca when I first went to Joburg, when I was in the pantomime, so I got to know her really, really well. So my heart goes out to David. I wished him the best. He must be very strong. I originally saw her in the very, very first Idols when that launched, and I remember moving to Johannesburg the year after that, and I needed a place to stay. And I called Bianca and I said, listen, I know you don't know me that well. Uh, and she said, like, yeah, cool, I've got a spare room, you can just chill there. And that's when my journey to Johannesburg started, and uh, we've been friends since. And of course, we wish the couple everything on the best. We want them to have the most incredible life together, and just a really blessed, best marriage and life, and maybe lots and lots of singing babies. 
Mr. How do you know the couple? I've known both of them for a very, very, very long time. Uh, I met David when I was still at university. He was at UCT and I was at UWC, but we used to audition for the same roles. <laughs> and Bianca I met uh, about 10 years ago as well, so I've known quite the two of them for quite a while. And it's quite an honor being here and you can see by the people that's here, you know, that they are very loved. This wedding market, it's such a fantastic idea, right? I love this. There's oysters here, there's a sweet stable over there, there's craft beer just behind me. This is a great party. <laughs> I think we've all just become kids again. Yeah, we have indeed. <laughs> For the reception, Bianca chose a decor theme of linen, damask tablecloths, natural wood, white orchids and champagne colored roses. How have you incorporated the couple's personality into the decor? Even though it's a classical theme, we've uh, gone for something a bit more theatrical and elements that brings out the punchiness. This long banquet table that uh, is reminiscent of a big party going to happen, the brush candelabra, um, all the ghost chairs and the glasses and crystal coming together. Then of course the King Brutia, which we just love and we think it's beautiful, it fits completely with their color scheme. And the umbrellas, which are my personal favorite. Yes, the umbrellas is an idea that we saw uh, at a party in Spain, actually. And at night, with some soft lighting, it's just magical. The couple's entrance was very demure. There was no stage production about things at all. It was an opportunity to see their private selves. It's been such a fantastic day, and this reception is absolutely magical. The food is delicious. What has stood out for you today? It's always a pleasure to see my sister that, that happy. She had a little bit of tears. There were tears of joy, as I know my sister. But that, that stood out the most for me, seeing my sister happy. Have you enjoyed the reception? Um, coming here was a big surprise. Um, I met Bianca years ago when we were in Idols. When I was 17, that's 12 years ago. And if you know Bianca, she is fabulous. She is beautiful. And the reception is everything like that and more. I mean, the, I love the family, the warmth, weddings are so beautiful, and the speeches are always my favorite. And, and David's speech was so heartfelt and, and really so amazing. And I know that the union is gonna be wonderful and God is really gonna bless them to see many, many years and have many, many babies. Like a routine from a stage show, the garter throw was fittingly theatrical. While both David and Bianca are natural performers who love an audience, when they're together, they could be the only people in the room. Did everything go according to plan? Nothing ever goes according to plan. I'm a Virgo, so I see everything. But I think what was meant to be happened, and I'm at peace with that. Um, it was months of planning, months of stressing, a lot of energy and a lot of input from so many people and I think this was a spectacular night. I'd like and to thank my wife. I'd like to thank my wife for putting up an awesome wedding, an awesome party. They normally say it's the bride's day but she made me feel like the most special groom all of this year is her commitment and dedication to her love for me. So I want to thank her. Thank you baby, I love you. David plays in a band and Bianca's talent on the piano is well known. But on this night, everyone else could play while they had the party of their lives.